Hi, Keep Peeps. Welcome to this month's new release report. First, before we get started, let's show you what we did in April. In Infusionsoft, we released mobile responsive order forms. And in Keep, we improved how you book appointments from your desktop and SMS templates. Now it's time for the May new release report. Here's a quick preview of what we're gonna show you today. Just as a reminder, if you wanna jump ahead, you can see the timestamps listed below in the description. Let's get started with Infusionsoft. Jack, take it away. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm gonna show you some of these Campaign Builder updates, so let's go to the Campaign Builder. So our first update has to do with your delay timers and field timers. Now you have the option to use years. This allows you to build a long-term strategy, improve personalization, and save time. As an example, let's say you have an event that you're running every year, year after year, and you don't want to have to build a brand new campaign for every event or for every year. Now you can do it all in one campaign. All right, let's look at the next update. Now you can use this feature, the set field value, to clear existing field values. Just by doing that, there we go. Clear existing field values and choosing the fields. This is a function literally for power users. And if you see this in your power user, you know exactly who you are. Let's say you're using a survey and you're serving up this survey continually to the same people, like a, uh, a check-in or something to that effect that people are filling out on a weekly basis. Now you can use this to clear out those existing field values so when they open up that survey, they don't see their last answers, they're seeing blank fields, which is going to prompt them to fill those fields again. And if you'd like to learn more about these features, check out Grady's webinar in the link below. Now the user time zone is consistent in contact activity and reports. Check this out. So I'm at the contact record and we're looking in notes. When I click on the note content or note information, there we go. And this is based on your time zone, the user time zone. You'll see this in reports, appointments, tasks, and notes. Now you can see the actions that are taking place at the appropriate time based on your perspective. Great example here in this call log report, you can see over here on the right, this is all being reported in your time zone or the time zone for your application. Much easier, much less confusing. Up next, keep updates. Back to you, Jack. You've waited for it and now it's here. The Microsoft Outlook calendar integration. Let's go take a look. I'm gonna pop over into integrations. Let's connect our Outlook calendar. And it's just this easy. The system is gonna queue up your Microsoft Outlook account information and you give keep permission to open it, hit yes, and there we go, done. So now when you go over to your appointment section, anything that's on your Outlook calendar will show up here in your calendar inside your Keep application. And you see they're grayed out, and when I hover over it, it says, hey, Microsoft Calendar event, and it's going to pull everything over. Anything you add to this calendar will also show up on your Outlook calendar. So it's a bi-directional connection. So when I decide to add an appointment by book now, it shows up here in white and it will show up over there in your other calendar in gray. We know lots of you use Microsoft Outlook to manage your calendar, so we're really excited to roll this one out. Now it's time for Keep Mobile updates and let's start with the great news, Keep Mobile app is available in the UK. Now you can manage your contacts, create and track tasks and book appointments right from your mobile app. It's available both on Android and iOS, so go on over to the App Store or the Google Play Store, search Keep, and download your app. All right, this next update, super cool. Really excited about this one. Multi-line call forwarding. If you're meeting with a client, you can't stop and take a phone call. And if you don't take that phone call, you could be missing out on another sale. So here we go, call forwarding. You can set this up with five numbers total so that somebody on your team will be able to answer that phone call. All numbers will receive the call at the same time. Never miss another call again. Another Keep Mobile update, now you can delete or update your tags on Keep Mobile. Let me show you how. All right, I've got a contact record. I'm gonna go into more and I'm gonna hit up tags. And you're familiar with this, you can just click on a tag to add that tag to the contact 
or click on it again to remove that tag. But now you can click manage and you can choose a tag and you can change the name of that tag or delete that tag altogether. And there you go, done, easy. You can even edit the tag description. And we all know that tags are fantastic for creating segments for your leads and your customers, creating groups, which makes it easier for you to uh, segment and market to your contacts. And we also use tags to trigger automation. And now we've got a few usability updates in Keep. Let's start with smart forms. Smart forms are a fantastic way to automate, organize, and systematize your internal processes and your internal information gathering. Now on smart forms, you can add a note section. So now when you access this smart form, you have the note section and whatever you put here and you save and submit, that note goes onto the contact record. And if you're not using smart forms, you're missing out on a really powerful feature to both add new contacts and add information to existing contacts and streamline it, systematize it so that the right information goes onto a contact every single time. Oh, and did I mention that they launch automation? Yes, smart forms launch automation. <laughs> okay. One last update. Now you can add your website, address, and company name to your signature. Here's all my signature information in my profile, and you can now add, there we go, my company name, website. Let's add the website. All right, and there's my address. And you can scroll to the bottom and see a preview. I'm gonna update, and there it is. It just added my web address. All your contact information in one place with a really handsome picture. That's it for this month's new release report. Before we wrap up, let's go over all the bugs we fixed this month. We resolved over 100 bugs and known issues this month. In Infusionsoft, users can now rest assured that when they schedule a broadcast, it will match the time listed on the individual report. In the Advanced Email Builder, the buttons used to navigate between the pages of recipients now work properly. Before we go, here's this month's Fast Fact. Did you know John Candy only made $400 appearing in the blockbuster hit Home Alone? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Netflix lately. Well, thanks for sticking around. Here's a recap of all the great new features and upgrades that we released this month. That's it, but tune in next month as we wrap up Q2 with a bang. We're making awesome UI improvements to your favorite pages in Infusionsoft, and lead forms in Keep might be becoming a little more customizable. Anyways, we can't wait to see you next month. Bye.